Hello, it has been a very long time since I have recorded my last sketchbook tour. Um, a lot has happened since I last recorded, or really just posted to YouTube in general. Um, I finished college, I have a degree in sequential art now, so that's exciting. Um, I have almost gotten to the halfway point in another sketchbook since then, uh oh. And yeah, I don't know, a lot of really cool stuff has happened. I plan on doing a vlog soon talking about, um, just how the last couple months have been for me, and the artist's way, which I am now doing, and I don't know, some other fun stuff that's happening in my life, so I'll try not to get too much into it and save more for that video. But anyways, welcome back um, if you saw part one of this, or just welcome in general if you haven't seen this. Um, this is my Nina Cosford sketchbook. Um, I honestly did not like this sketchbook very much while I was using it, but now that I'm not using it, I miss it, weirdly, and I almost want to get another one soon. Um, it's, I don't remember how big this is because it's been so long since I've even thought about this sketchbook. I'm sorry, there's a glare. It'll go away in a minute. Um, yeah, the stickers, um, most of these were brought at conventions. I don't remember the original artists. Um, some of these are from the Big Bud Press store in New York. This one's from Sugar Bones. This one's from my friend Alyssa at Misty Mellow. Uh, this is from Carla V. Cross. This is from my friend Miranda, Mershrooms. Um, so yeah, we left off at the halfway point. I dropped my bookmark in here. There we go. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at this in a while, so this is going to be a fun journey for both of us. Both of us. All of us. Um, I'm going to try not to ramble too much, and I'm going to try not to, you know, continue on with the ums and the thinking, and I'll try to edit this down, but we'll see. So, yeah, I have not looked at this in a hot minute. This was almost a year ago now, um, which is crazy to think about. Like, I was still, like, starting my senior year. Uh, this is the very beginning of my fall semester. I was in an advanced comics class, um, and we did these warm-ups. Uh, we studied movie stills in our sketchbook for about an hour, I think, 45 minutes. These are some Fortnite sketches that I had done. I was really excited to do this page, and then I hated how it turned out. Uh, this is Tombow Marker and Stabilo Pen. This is a fun spread. I haven't seen this in a while. Uh, more movie studies. This one I changed and I turned into my OCs. I think it's from the movie Bones and All. Um, the professor picked up the stills. We didn't get to pick them. So I changed it to my OCs from a vampire story that I was working on. So yeah, a lot of what you're going to see in this sketchbook is for uh, a project I was kind of doing as a senior thesis, but it got cut really short, unfortunately. So I want to revisit that project later on. Um, but it was a story of a vampire and her familiar, um, vampire influencer and her familiar, I should say. Um, and like toxic Yuri, <laughs> toxic, toxic lesbian relationships and horror and fun outfits. And yeah, I don't know. I really want to revisit this project soon. So this is when I was working on the beginning of it. This was when I was at Dragon Con. Um, I was an officer for my school's illustration club and we were tabling at Dragon Con. So when it was kind of slow at the table, I was doodling in my sketchbook for a little bit. Um, these are pretty fun. I haven't thought about these in a while. I'm going to say that a lot. Uh, notes from, I believe, my comics class and then drawing. This is a really ugly drawing underneath, so I taped this really fun pink bag. I think like a birthday gift somebody gave me came in this. And I really like the use of the white gel pen. Um, I think it's a fun pop of color. This is when everybody still had Barbie fever. Um, these are studies I tried to do at home. I wanted to continue the practice of studying movie stills. And I don't know. This one, I feel like I did a pretty good job on, but this one got really messy and I was really struggling. This one's from But I'm a Cheerleader. This one's from the Barbie movie. Uh, and then I was having a bad art day, so I was just scribbling. This is when I was rereading the Hunger Games series. Um, and I wanted to draw the characters. So I drew Katniss and Peeta, kind of like how I saw them. Um, overall, these are pretty fun. This is Prismacolor Pencil. Um, I remember these did pretty well on TikTok. People really like these. Uh, more studies from class. This one started as a blurry image and every, I think, five, ten minutes maybe, uh, the professor would sharpen the image more and more so we'd get closer and closer to its original state and we had to like see how close we got. And I got pretty close. Um, it was a roast chicken. We couldn't tell what the meat was. We knew it was some kind of meat. Um, yeah, and then I don't remember either of these movies. He picked like a lot of really obscure, like, kind of pretentious movies um, that I had never seen or heard of. And I was kind of like, okay. Uh, this was notes from a lecture. Um, I think this was a guest lecturer that we had. 
uh, Matty Ryan. He's a comic letterer. Um, yeah, I, I hate, hate, hate lettering so much. That's like my least favorite part of comics in general. It's so stressful to me. Uh, this is a Godzilla study. I don't feel like flipping my sketchbook, but I did it taking up the whole page like that way. Yeah, this is like a cute little size for my sketchbook. I kind of miss this size. Maybe I will get another Nina Cosford sketchbook. In my last video, I was so scared that I was like a little too mean about it. Um, cause it's just, you can't use wet media, but I'm using a sketchbook that does take wet media right now. And I don't use wet media. I still reach for like my colored pencils and like maybe markers. So we'll see. We'll see how I feel. Um, I really like this spread. I went to the Buckhead Farmer's Market with my girlfriend, um, uh, my birthday weekend last year. And I took videos of like all like the really pretty colorful stuff that I saw. And then I came home and drew it. It was a whole TikTok series that I did. Um, I think my favorites, looking back, are these, ra they're not actually called rainbow peppers, but I called them rainbow peppers because, like, the way the light hit them, it just brought out so much color. Uh, this was an in-class study. Um, we had to do, like, a, it was, I don't remember what movie it was, but there, there was a statue of Jesus, and I changed it to Garfield, and then I ended up actually making this into a sticker later on, and it's one of my bestsellers. I'm almost out of it already. This is a fun spread. I don't remember this at all. Um, yeah, Phantom Tooth Pain. Oh, this is when I was really sick. I remember this now. I got really sick last September, and I didn't really know what was going on, but I had, like, really bad, um, like, tooth pain and sinus pain. And then this was, this was a study for school, or for class. Usually if you see it, like, in this rectangular kind of cropping, it's, it's a study for class. Um... Yeah, these these are fun. Um, these are drawings that I did. I remember this day. I stayed after school or like after class. I had a class that was nine to four. And I think I stayed until like five, maybe six o'clock, just like sitting in a lounge and sketching. Um, it was fun. This is, oh, I remember this. Okay. Um, this is some OC stuff. I was reading a really bad romance book or I was listening to like an audio book of it when I drove because I had really long commutes last year. And I um, I was picturing the two characters as my OCs and it made it really entertaining because it kind of felt like somebody had written fan fiction about my characters. It was really fun. So it made me want to draw my characters more. So that's my OCs, Stephen and Thomas. These are fun. I'm going to keep saying these are fun. I feel like I say that all the time. This one did really well on TikTok. Um, I really love the use of color and layering. It's Chapel Roan. Um I drew this last October um, before she was like, super super famous and now she's so popular that it's crazy um i made prints of this as of recording there's one left in my shop i don't know if i'm gonna restock because like there's so many colors that it's really really hard to print and i make my prints myself and then somebody shoplifted a couple for me at a market and i was really upset about it so low stock if you're interested it's in my shop i did these like cowgirl drawings on this side just for the similar vibe this was in class, I believe. Yeah, back in class, but I only have one pen on me. I have, what is it, misophonia? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, I hate hearing sounds from people's bodies, like breathing or chewing. It drives me up the wall. And there was someone that sat next to me in one of my classes last semester, and they just, they breathed so loud, and it, it would make me, like, irrationally, really awfully angry. Storyboarding thumbnails for class this is a this is a tiktok live i was doing and i got banned for hate speech um i was raided by a bunch of homophobes um like my view count i think was it like like it was a couple thousand it shot from like a hundred people watching to like thousands and i was working on my memoir comic and i was my chat was raided by conservatives who were just saying the nastiest, most homophobic, awful things they could to me. And it was just out of control. And then enough of them reported me falsely for hate speech and pornography and other terrible things. And they ended up getting my whole account taken down for about a week. And I got my account back, but it really sucked. And my engagement has not been the same since. And I'm so sad about it still. This is when I got really into trolls. Everybody at school really got into trolls. Um... So I did some fun little trolls doodles. I drew me and my girlfriend as trolls. Um, just trying to draw in the trolls style. Uh, this was the day after Thanksgiving. My, my cousin and I watched trolls. Uh, 
thinking about like, I believe this is Coraline. I think this is Coraline. It's Coraline. Um, I used to be really into the Mystery Kids AU, which was like a big crossover like 10 years ago of like Laika characters and Gravity Falls characters and Psychonauts characters. And sometimes I still think about it. Like I'll listen to like the playlists I had in middle school for those characters. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, they basically became OCs. So anyways, Coraline. And then I really love this drawing of my OC Mesa. I think it is so cute still. Yeah, more Mystery Kids stuff with Raz and Lily and Coraline. Oh, this is all Mystery Kids. Okay, yeah. So these are like my headcanons for like what the characters would look like when they were older. I really love this Lily. I think this is just like a, such a such a fun design. Um, I really like the shapes and like, I don't know, I like this nose and like her face shape specifically. These were figure drawings I did. Don't remember if these were in class or not, um, but Line of Action. Line of Action is a great resource for figure drawing reference. This was a really fun page. I did this on TikTok. Um, I kind of hate how a lot of these look now, but it was a fun idea. Um, I drew my top five Spotify wrapped artists. And not to brag, but within this year, I had seen and met all of these artists, which was kind of crazy. Um, Carly Rae Jepsen, I saw her. She was my number one. I saw her. I met her um, in Atlanta. I, I think I've told this story on my channel before, but I got to like collaborate with her kind of, and that was really fun. Um, I did this fan art of her as a vampire, and she liked it so much that she dressed up like that, like as my art for Halloween, and that was really cool. Um, and we like follow each other now. Matt and Kim, they're like probably my favorite band of all time. Um, so, so sweet. I saw them right before I turned 22 last year, and then I got to see them again in November on a work trip. They're like the nicest people ever. I, I got to hang out with them a little bit in LA after a show, and they're so cool. I love them so much. Um, group love. I... I've, I've talked about this on this channel, I know. Um, I was kind of involved with the release of one of their new albums, or their latest album. My friends and I were in the music videos, we were on the album cover, it was really, really cool. And then we went to the album release party later that year, um, and I got to talk to them a little bit after that too, and they're just so awesome. They're like some of the coolest people I've ever gotten to work with. Metric, I saw Metric for my 21st birthday, we had VIP. I got to go backstage and meet them as well. They're so cool. I, I'm just going to keep saying these people are really cool. Um, I love Metric. I've loved Metric since middle school. And Matt Watson, um, he put on a show in Atlanta at IL5. And it was kind of a rough show. <laughs> like the AC went out and it was in July. But he puts on a really good show as well. And it was a really fun time. This is when Songbirds and Snakes came out, like the movie. So I was just kind of drawing the characters. I don't really like how these look now. I think, I don't know, there's something weird about them. But Prismacolor Pencil, that was my go-to with this sketchbook. Trolls Drawings. This is a really fun washi tape. I haven't seen this in a while. I should look for that. Uh, but I drew, like, Poppy, but, like, Yossified, I guess. A lot of people don't like drawing the trolls with humans, human proportions, but I think it's fun. Uh, I really like the anatomy on this one and just, like, the shapes. I think I did a really good job. And then I drew, like, my friend's OC as a troll, because she's basically already a troll. And I drew me and my girlfriend as trolls again. Uh, these were notes for a commission and thumbnails for commission. I've already finished this, so I don't think it's a big deal if I show this. And then drawing up my OC. Line of action figure drawing. I think at this point I was just trying to fill pages. Yeah, more figure drawing. Also, the sketchbook was small, so it didn't take a lot to fill these spreads. More line of action. I really liked how this one turned out, though. I love this model. I think she is so beautiful. I get so excited every time she shows up. This was me revisiting old OCs from middle school, and like if I told you like the original source material, I think I maybe have mentioned it before in a past video. I don't want to mention the original source material, but like you know, just like middle school cringe, like fan fiction role play stuff that just got so blown out of proportion that it was so far removed from the source material that you would laugh. It was one of those situations. Um, so then, yeah, I've like. Throughout my my adulthood, I like think about them like every winter because that's when we were like you know pretty obsessed with them was like winter in middle school. Um, so yeah, I just I, I revisit these characters every couple of years or every year or so, and I just I think about them, think about what they could be, what would make them cooler and like less middle school cringe fan fiction. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I like these. I really like this one. 
And then, yeah, oh, elaborating and continuing more with that and just doodling and emptying my brain. And honestly, I really wish I could do this more. Um, I think these are what make my best sketchbook pages is when I just turn my brain off. I don't record. I don't, you know, I'm not streaming. It's not for a TikTok. I think that really limits me now as I record a lot of my sketchbook work for TikTok. But when nobody's watching and I just draw whatever I want, I think that's when my best art comes out. These are really fun. Um, it's just, it's so, it feels so alive. Like, I feel like these characters really have so much personality. And it's a story that I would be interested in. This is when my friend Cody and I were scheming new OCs. Um, I don't remember, like, anything about them at all now. Because um, this was a year ago. And they were just kind of OCs that for a day we were like, what if? And then I drew them. And then that was kind of it. Some little smiskies. These are very cute. Yeah. I haven't looked at these. Uh, I saw this picture on Tumblr of like a crying figure skater after she like, I guess, like botched a performance. I, I, I botched a tournament. I don't really know a lot about figure skating. Uh, Prism Color Pencil, Group Love Lyrics. This is a TikTok I made. Uh, my 2024 art goals. Finish my degree. I still have two weeks to go left of school, technically. Um because I'm taking a summer class right now, but I'm about to finish my degree. Start applying for more constant shows. I'm definitely applying. I'm not getting into a lot right now because the convention market is very oversaturated right now and very, very competitive and scary. So I have not made it into any bigger shows on my own, but that's okay. Um, I'm applying. At least one really cool freelance gig. I haven't really had a lot of cool freelance gigs this, yet this year, but also my commissions have been closed. I haven't really been putting myself out there because I've been busy with school and growing my Patreon and shop. Um, I was going to plug my Patreon at the end, but I do have a Patreon. Um, it helps pay for making physical goods, basically. I, I do stickers and prints through my Patreon. I also upload exclusive sketches and exclusive videos. And I do basically like a weekly update over there. And it's a really fun little community, but I do really want to grow it, um, especially now that I'm no longer getting financial aid from school and I'm trying to do art, you know, at least part time. So if you are interested in any of that, um, you can hop on my Patreon. My lowest tier starts at a dollar a month. It goes up to nine dollars a month. And yeah, I've also reopened my shop as of yesterday when I'm recording this. Um, I have a little coffee shop where I sell stickers and prints, and I think they are pretty okay. And then this was kind of a flop. I bought a Bagu stocking um, that I was going to take to my mom's house for Christmas, and then I found out she had already bought me a stocking. I was like, oh, okay. So I bought this Bagu stocking, and I didn't really need it. But it's cute. It has a little fish on it. I tried to draw it. It does not really look that good. This is when my friends and I were talking about Disney fairies, and I was thinking about my old Disney fairy self-insert from when I was a kid. Her name was Rose Wings, and she was a garden talent fairy, and I would, like, roleplay as her on Pixie Hollow Online. That was my shit. I was always on there, like, all day, every day in the summer. Um, loved it. Took the lore super seriously. Very dedicated. So I kind of drew Rose Wings, like, more like what I look like now as an adult, because, like, when I was a kid, I had, like, short hair, and I was, like, like light brown and now I'm blonde so I just I redrew rose wings and there's this other person that I would like role play with on there and I like drew like their fairy and just yeah I think it's fun and little smiskies I don't know why there's smiskies there but they're cute I think I was at, yeah I was at my mom's house when I drew these so I drew her dog um her dog's birthday passed while I was there and then my stepdad I was sitting at his desk he had like cute little toys on this desk, so I was drawing those. Uh, drawings of my OC and like this fun little hat that I saw on Pinterest. I drew this first and I drew those after and it just kind of like spiraled from there. Mr. Dinkles. I did this for a TikTok video. This is still pretty cute. I, I love Mr. Dinkles. He's my favorite Trolls character. And then we just have OC stuff, like, the rest of the page. Like, I think I was just trying to fill space, finish the sketchbook up. Um, when I was at my mom's for Christmas, we we watched a lot of Jacob Elordi movies. We watched Priscilla, and then we watched Saltburn. So I did a Priscilla page, and then I did a Saltburn page. And people on TikTok were like, ah, why don't you draw the grave scene? I was like, this literally is the grave scene. It's just before the shock stuff happens. And... 
yeah, Saltburn, I think Saltburn is good, but like people really blew what happens in it out of proportion. I was like kind of underwhelmed when I saw it. I was just like, okay. Um, this seems to be some control and Alan Wake stuff. I think this is my first time ever drawing Alan Wake, which is really funny. Um, I don't think I'd even played Alan Wake yet. I think I just wanted to draw him. This doesn't even look like how I draw him now. Like I barely even recognized him. But yeah, Jesse. Yeah, this is like her what her hand does when she's like using her powers. But I I love Control. I love Alan Wake. Okay, no. So I had started Alan Wake because I did this page right after I had started playing the game. Like I think I had just gotten through like basically the the exposition part. Um. So yeah, this this page is Saga and Alan. That's not really how I draw Alan anymore. But I was really proud of this at the time, and I like the the red and black. Um, I think it's fun. And then, yeah, so this this was uh, New Year's Day. Um, drew my OC Steven in these cute little red tights. Because I really wanted a pair of red tights. So I actually ended up buying a pair for my graduation. Um, and I wore them at graduation. I have some mystery quartet stuff. Um, I like this dipper. Uh, this one's pretty nice. This was sticker thumbnails. Uh, this is a salt burden bathtub sticker I wanted to make and I never did. Um, and then this this is actually one of my favorite stickers I've done this year so far. I think it's so cute. It's my friend's cat as um, like a little lucky cat. And then, okay, I don't feel like drawing seriously, so this is goodbye. Uh, yeah, this was this is the end of the sketchbook. Um, I don't think there's anything left. Maybe just some marker, marker testing. Um, I have a sticker from Meow It's Mary. I think that's how you pronounce the username. It might be Mari. I think it's Mary. Um, yeah, she gave me this sticker at um, Supercon. And I think what's in here is just like, I think it's just like junk. I think there's like some business cards from like my friends. So not junk. Yeah, it looks like it's just business cards and some zines. Um, yeah, that is my, hopefully not too long, hopefully not too rambly, Nina Cosford finished sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed um, I hope you consider sticking around. I'm going to try to be more active on YouTube now that I'm done with school and I'm about to record a second sketchbook tour for this little baby. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And on Patreon, I'm going to do a sketchbook tour for just this little sketchbook. I didn't finish it. Um, so it's only going to be on Patreon, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'm going to cut this off now before I start talking too much. Goodbye.